Right, guys, I'm playing War Robots on Steam Deck. I'm overclocking Steam Deck by 35 watts. I am. I am in. If you've seen the background, I'm still trying to download uh, Counter Strike 2. And this is the Steam Deck with Steam operating system on it. I hope you can see that that's actually Counter Strike 2 that I'm trying to download. It's doing well. But that's Counter-Strike 2. So as soon as that downloads on this Steam Deck, I should be able to do a game review. I'm also trying to download that game on my uh, on on my uh, Windows Steam Deck as well. Um, the, the main reason why I'm not playing Call of Duty right now, because, I mean, there's, there's new maps being added. I really wanted to see that the new maps do look good. Uh, but the main reason I'm not playing it at the moment is obviously if you're downloading uh, with that in the background, it's not going to work properly, is it? I'm just saying. And uh, the Steam Deck one, uh, Steam operating system one, also still requires to update 66 games. So even if it finished downloading uh, Counter-Strike, it still has to update uh, 66 games. I mean, usually the games that I've got, they, they're like indie games. They, they're not um, big, big titles, so they, they're not going to last long, you know? I'm just saying, they, they're not going to last long. Uh, in terms of like update, updating them, because obviously uh, indie titles don't not require uh, like big update. You know, they, 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 it's not going to be a huge update. You, you understand? An indie title is going to take like a few megabytes, isn't it? And then it's going to be oh, that's an angler. Damn, I just didn't realize. So what I'm saying is, um, indie titles do not require so much um, space. Especially when they're updating. Uh, the other thing I do like about Nida is that um, um, you see, I, I just, I just, I couldn't be. <laughs> it, it was going to take a long time to destroy that uh, robot, so I used my um, thingy. What, what do you call this? I used my ability. I mean, my my mothership thing. All these guys have a uh, have um, what do you call that? Um, they've got a Titan in the game, but you see that Titan. I think what people are trying to do is, is trying to revamp it like, oh, you know what, if you've got the Dazzlers on it. Okay, fine, if you've got Dazzlers and stuff, you, you could use those. But I don't think it's it's good enough for that Titan. I do not think the Dazzlers are enough to, you know. I mean, enough to warrant it a, a good Titan. You understand? I'm not saying it's a bad title, I'm just saying I don't think it's enough to save it. Right, I only destroy these these robots. I don't I just don't know what those are. Okay, these are mass robots, right? So if I do destroy these, I would have helped out my teammates quite a lot. You see, that's why they're running away. That that's that's why they're running away. Look, he just keeps throwing his mass uh, assault and runs away. I, I just want to destroy him now. I, I don't even care. You know, I'm just like, I want to get rid of these robots. Oh, damn, that's, that's a luchin though. Right. Now, look how many robots are fighting me. And they notice that I'm not even going for the other robots. I don't even care about those other ones. Look at them. They can notice it. They're like, ah, oh, he's after this mass. Yes, I want to destroy the mass robots. <laughs> I wanted to get rid of them. Because they're so irritating, you know. They're so irritating. Um, I mean, I did destroy some robots. I'm supposed to be destroying uh, 20 robots. So I'm going to drop my remote assault. Um, the, the drone I'm using is called Whiteout. It uh, causes EMPs um, if a robot comes near me. The, the EMP is um, just basically going to stop the robot from attacking me, obviously, isn't it? Damn, what's, what's this thing? Wow, that beam really caused a lot of damage. Oh, is, what's, what's happening here? Okay, I see. That's Orion they use. I was just wondering, like, how come this thing caused so much damage? Right, so I could have, I could have continued with just uh, my, um, my robots. But like I said, I really hate those mass robots now. They're so irritating. I mean, I'm not saying they should um, cut the mass out, no. I didn't say that. I just said, 
it's so irritating when you're playing this game and and all they do is hide you know i i actually want to play call of duty um modern warfare 2 the new maps um i think there's like two or three maps they brought in and one of the maps i really like is one where um you're running into like a, a city square thing uh i think you can also there's another one where you're running like on rooftops well not rooftops as such but you know it, it just looks like there's a lot of hiding spaces I, I like them type of games especially especially you know with this um see i'm blocking i want to destroy him there you go nasty robot so i'm gonna help this dude out with an orion you see use my mothership ability there what i'm saying is um i like the map because i i just noticed how the map looks like and the map looks looks really really good and i just i i really want to i want to i want to play those those type of maps because i like i basically like those maps where look at this dude look look where he goes he hides look he just runs away that's all these guys know just throw the remote assault and run that's all they do and there's two of them imagine there's two people fighting me but he's still running away what's the sense of of playing the game if you're gonna do that his weapons are also better than mine you see he took me out but we still won check check <laughs> we still won the game <laughs> we still defeated them right so let's see if i can jump into a game on on this one i just i just want to test my controls because uh, the controls on figure weren't working like i mean the the joy the joy cons and then i i thought to reinstall the game but at the moment i can't reinstall the game because obviously uh if i try and re reinstall it while counter strike in the background i think you guys can see the other steam deck over there that's the steam operating system steam deck this is windows so i'm just showing you guys um okay so it says Capture beacons have done 8 out of 10. Platinum task, this is difficult. But it says gain honor points. I've got 2,339 out of 2,500. It says destroy 18 robots. I've done 16 out of 18. It says deal damage 2.2 million. I've done about 181 million. Uh, and then it says platinum task 1,700. Like I said, that's a little bit difficult to do. But, you know, it's, it's a game at the end of the day says participate in battles so just take part in battle six i've done two so far four left uh win battles i've done one two left and capture beacons like i said the top one for memoriam and the lower one for Mem uh, microchip is actually the same kind of task because it does say capture beacons and that's just 10. if you complete that one you basically complete the top one that's why i said it's an advantage you know you're kind of doing one task but it's split up into two different things so it's good i mean it's a good thing to do a uh, good thing to have right i'm just doing a few checks to see if i've got any of those coin things checking the leaderboards because sometimes sometimes they'll give you stuff in here like this data pads in here uh, i just want to see what this one's about it says show the best performance in the battle uh you will get much more points if you uh use a certain robot of course, they, they want you to use o o Ochi Kochi. I, I, I don't even know how to say the name correctly. Let's see. Ochi Kochi. Okay, Ochi Kochi. Right, fine. So, I don't have an Ochi Kochi, obviously. So, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I wish I did. Don't have it. So, here, I'm, I'm working towards getting uh, the, the... Okay, let me complete this task. Let's see what's going on here. Right, I just want to see if, if this Joy-Cons are working properly, yeah? Ah, so there you go. So it does work. Let me put some music. Right, so it might be an issue with the game then. So this is uh, Fortnite. I know it's not the, the name of the game. But I'm, I'm just wanting to see if my stuff was working. Let's see. Can I just get in here? Uh, get on top. Yes. Open this dude up. Let's get some stuff. Ooh. Right. So in the other game, in the other game, I couldn't uh, move around Vigor. Like I said, I do play Vigor a lot. It's one of my 
top games. Uh, I don't know why it was doing that. Maybe I need to restart my switch. What's that? A sniper? I don't need sniper. What? What a gun. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Is there a car around here? No, no car. Need to run. Right. Um. What games do I like playing on Switch? I do like playing um. Uh, Fortnite, obviously. I like playing Fortnite. I like playing Vigor. I like playing uh, what's that one? I like Vigor. I like um, Warface. I I always said to someone that Warface was always going to be, you know, it's it to me it was always a Call of Duty type game. I know it's not Call of Duty. I'm just saying it's it's like a Call of Duty game. I mean, we never got Call of Duty, which was unfortunate. But I mean, I, I think with the Switch 2, as they kept saying, the Switch 2 will uh, be getting, um, what do you call this? Right, let me get this stuff. Uh, the Switch 2 is, is going to be as powerful as the PlayStation 4. Yeah, let me get this weapon before I disappear. I really don't like these scope weapons. Right. I don't like them. You have to look through the scope. Right. Let's see. Um, the Switch 2 is going to be as powerful as the PlayStation 4. So apparently they're saying that's, that, that's how COD, that's how COD is going to come into um, the Switch, you know, to the Nintendo. Right, guys. I'm going to use my neither. I was just testing my joy cons. Like I said, I was trying to play Vigor before. Vigor is a stealth game. I, I wasn't trying to play. I just wanted to collect some stuff in the game. Because what, what the game does is like um, you have a hideout. Uh, you have a farm. Like you, you can plant um, stuff. And uh, you, use, you use those vegetable stuff as commodities. And you can trade them for, for box, for chests, you know. For weapons and stuff. So... I was just trying to do my daily task in um, in the, in that um, in that thing. Obviously, I was trying to do my daily task, and the Joy Cons see, appeared like they weren't working. So when when that started happening, I just thought, you know, what is that? These Dementors? Oh, that's a Warrior Typhoon. What? The? <laughs> Check that out. I just moved <laughs> when that guy was trying to hit me. Let me try and destroy this this Warrior Typhoon. At least, yes, yeah, good. At least that's that's dead. Uh, why why destroy a warrior typhoon? Because like it's got lockdown work, weapons. It can cause a lot of damage. All right, so that's my mouse. The other good thing. The other good thing about you see that's the Newton. Newton is lifting this dude up. If those guys are clever, let me say it this way: if those guys are clever, and they know what they are doing, they they should support that dude. Because the Newton, they should they should uh, destroy those Titans. Because when you when you destroy the Titan, when you, okay, sorry, when you when you are helping this Titan out, you see he's got no armor on this dude. You see, look at that. I've frozen him. He can't move. If you support this Titan, you're actually doing a good task. Oh, he's using the strike weapons. But what is he using for um, for the the beater? You see what I mean? That's why I'm wondering. What's he using for beta weapons? No, it's interesting. He's using the strike weapons. I never thought of that. Oh, he's about to die, though. No, what's that? That's not the one. Oh, he's using lanterns. I mean, I know I'm going to get destroyed. I know that stuff. I'm just wondering what weapons he's using. I think he's using lanterns. Ah, let me jump into this one. Right, so basically the Newton is a good Titan. I know it's like I'm trying to play th uh, two games. It's it's not the it's not the case, guys. What happened? What happened earlier on? If you watch my videos, I was trying to play a game called Vigor, and I was trying to do the, um, uh, trying to see if if the uh, if I could uh, complete some tasks. Like all these games need you to do tasks, and um, you know, and then basically what what happened is. 
I noticed that my Joy Cons weren't working. Um, like you, you see, they're working now in Fortnite, but they're not working on on Vigor. Damn. Let me try and get this good. Ah, damn. So they they were not working on Vigor, and I was wondering why they weren't working. So that's why uh, I ended up playing this game. So it's not like I'm playing two games. Uh, the the thing is, like like I was testing. I was testing the the Joy Cons. You understand? Because uh, I've got other games on the on this thing. I've got other games, and I and I just noticed like I couldn't, I could not um, play. I mean, I could not move the character on uh, on the figure. So I was just like, what's going on with this? Um, with my, what's going on with my joy um, my Joy Cons? So that's I'm trying to explain how I'm I'm playing Fortnite and War Robots at the same time. It's not the case. I'm actually doing a test to see if my Joy Cons are working, and the Joy Cons are working in the game. So it's it's more or less like I I just need to uh, reinstall the game, isn't it? I need to reinstall Vigor. But obviously, I do like playing Fortnite. So when it's in front of me like this. And I'm not actually participating. I feel like, let me just try and cause some kind of damage. There you go. Got somebody. See? I am a good player. It's, it's just like, I'm concentrating on more robots. I'm also trying to find out if my Joy-Cons are working. Because I only have one OLED. And I don't want to buy... I, I don't want to buy... Um, I don't want to buy uh, another set of Joy-Cons if I don't need to. Wait, what's this thing? Is that a jump thing? Yeah, I, I don't like the shotgun. Let me get rid of this thing. Right, let me... Also, oh, look at this. I can get that one. Let me swap this out. I don't need bandages. I don't use them. Uh, so this is Fortnite on a uh, Nintendo Switch OLED, obviously. Wait, what's this thing? Can you jump on that? That's what I'm wondering. Can I jump on it? What happens if I jump on this? Oh, a nice one. Okay. Uh, don't use those. Check this weapon out, guys. Have you ever used this before? Look at that. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh, my God. I like using that thing. Let me throw this there. I'm probably wasting those, right? So let me not waste those. Might uh, use them later. Wait, can I swap this out? Wait, there's no one around here. What I'm saying is, I, I, I play I play a lot of these games. And obviously... Right, let me, let me leave that one alone. Let me focus. I'm going to use Hangar 2 now. I've been using the, the first hangar all along. Oh, this team is actually good. They're actually doing some damage. So, let's see what's up with these dudes. Right, so this Harpy has got uh, Rasto Bullets, the Bendy Bullets, and um, Bane, the Crew Bane. I do prefer Crew Bane than the other Bane. I don't know. I mean, they seem like the same weapon. But the Crew Bane does do, to me, slightly more damage. That's an Orochi over there running away. Uh, Orochi is not a, a brawler, actually, I don't think. Can go into stuff twice, but after that, it's it's basically a robot. So I'm gonna use my firestorm on this dude, try and cause as much damage as possible while he's not in stealth, and then I get destroyed. Right. Let me see. What else do I have? I'm thinking I've got another neither. Let me use my neither. Right. This dude is there. I'm. I got two spears on this one, and two blights. I do not know what the spears do. I think spears are like cannons. They, they, they got that power output thing that they've got. And then obviously... Right, guys. 
I'm not gonna play that game for too long because I can't play it on my other Steam Steam Deck. Um, I'm just wanting to play Fortnite for a few minutes. Right, so these guys here are gonna fool around and drop this. Oh my god, I got nailed. Right, um, so on Raw Robots, what I'm saying is I, I do have a second... Sorry for the shaking, guys. I've, I do have a second Steam Deck in the background there that um, I can play War Robots on all day long. I, I, I don't really need to finish every task here. That's a 6 out of 20. Uh, capture beacons, 9 out of 10. Uh, win um, battles, 3 out of... Well, I've done 2 out of 3. Um, participate in battles, 4 out of 6. Win battles, 1 out of 8. Gain on a point seven hundred out of 1,700. Destroy 18 robots, 17 out of 18. Uh, gain honor points, I've done 2,300 out of 2,005. Uh, capture beacons, 9 out of 10. Events, uh, destroy 20 robots, I've done 6 out of 20. So I don't, I don't really need um, to... Like I said, I, I, I don't feel like I need to complete every task. Because the reason is, because I've got this other Steam Deck, and in here, you know, Steam... Um, War Robots does play on, on Steam operating system, so I don't need or I don't feel like I have to complete every task because I can just play it here, you know? And this is downloading uh, Counter-Strike 2 at the moment, so I don't feel like I need to do much with, um, you know, in terms of the game. Beforehand, I used to do that. I used to complete every task all the time, but I'm saying because I got a second Steam Deck with Steam operating system on it, War Robots does work here, so... And I'm trying to download Counter-Strike 2. So obviously, if I do too much gaming, it's going to slow down the downloads. Right. And I've still got about 66 downloads on that Steam Deck. On this one, they've downloaded the downloads. I'm just downloading Counter-Strike 2. And I still want to see what Call of Duty um, 2 looks like. Um, thank you for watching, guys.